All right, let's consider how we actually do matrix multiplication. So now, as we said before, we have to get the dimensions right. And so we're going to have our number of rows and our number of columns. If we multiply two, in this case, I'm going to multiply A by B. And order matters here. And that's going to give me C. So I've got... Uh, Let's just write it out. I've got two by three, and this one is three rows by two columns. Since these two inside numbers are the same, we can make this work. And our output is going to be two by two, um, yeah, two by two, two rows, two columns. So what are these rows and columns going to be? Well, the basic pattern looks like this. So for these two rows we're going to get out, we're sort of going to copy across these guys. Uh, so we're going to copy this guy here and here, and then we're going to copy these guys across uh, these columns. So let me make sure I'm thinking through this right. We're going to have, whoops. I already got it back. All right, three, six, seven, three, six. Oh, I'm not giving myself enough space. Three, six, seven. I'm going to write over that six. And then I've got a 12, 9, 11. 12, 9, 11. All right, so I'm just basically copying this twice because I'm going to have two columns here. And I'm going to copy this. Um, am I doing this right? Yeah, then I'm going to copy this um, here and here. That's right. Okay. So the way I'm copying this is it's going to be row by column. So we're copying 6, 5, 13, 6, 5, 13, 12, 10, 2, 12, 10, 2. So let me add just a couple colors here to really drive home the pattern. We've got this dark green, which is showing up here and here. We've got this red which is showing up here and here. We've got, let's go with neon pink, which we've got here, and that's showing up. Am I doing this right? Row, column, row, column, row, column, row, column. Right, okay. Pink and pink. Okay. I'm catching up to myself. It's been a little while. Pink and pink. Um, and then purple and purple. The pattern, it was just so clear in my head for just a second, and then it just fell out. But here it is again. So purple, purple. Pink, pink. Purple is showing up here. Pink is showing up here. Red, we've got here. Green, we've got here. And we're crossing everything. So we got green, pink, red, pink. Green, purple, red, purple. We've got each of these combinations. We're basically mashing together all of these numbers. So we've got them blocked together, but what are we actually doing with them? We're multiplying these and then adding them to the multiplication of each of the other ones. So... We're adding, we're adding, we're adding, we're adding, 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 adding. And then, otherwise, multiplying. So, let's go ahead and go through those calculations just to see what we got. 3 times 6, that is 18. 6 times 5 is 30. 7 times 13 is 70, 91. We add those together, and that is going to be the number that we end up with. 
I'm a little faster multiplying than adding, so I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh, 12 times 6 is 60, plus 2 is 72, uh, 45, and then 11 times 13. That's what, 130 plus 13 is 143. 36 times 12, that's 360 plus 72 is 432. I might be a little off there. The specific number is not the important thing. The important thing is the structure of it. Plus 90 plus 22. All those other ones were a lot easier. And so we're going to just say this is X11, or I guess C11. C11, we're going to get C11. Uh, C21, row comes first, C row 1, column 2, C row 2, column 2, is going to be whatever these numbers add up to, assuming I did the math right. Now, if you get the computer to do this, it's really easy. So if we're doing this in, say, R, we're going to have our command prompt, and we're going to say A percent sign, asterisk, percent sign, B, and it's going to spit out an option for us. Um, and actually, you know what we can do? Let's even set up R. Let me switch over to my screen. So if I open up R and I create a matrix, I'm going to say A is going to be a matrix. The elements of that matrix, let me see if I can remember getting this in the right order. 3, 2, 6, 9, 7, 11. Uh, N row equals 3. No, oh, N row equals 2. 3, 2, 6, 9, 7, 11. Cool. So I've got A, B is going to be a matrix. Um, let me zoom in. Profiles, here we go. There we go, that'll be easier to see. Uh, so we've got a matrix which is going to be from the vector this is a vector in the R sense, not in the sense we'll look at in just a second. 12, 10, and 2. And here, N row equals 3. So there is B. So let's do A times B. And we've got a 2 by 2 matrix. 139. Let me see what my numbers were. I had an 18, a 91, and a 30. Is that right? Let's see, 3 times 6 plus 6 times 5 plus 7 times 13 is 139. Cool. So that is it in the computer. Now, A times B, this is itself not terribly exciting, but if this was not 2 by 2, but was something like 100,000 by 100, being able to multiply matrices together like this becomes an incredibly powerful thing. All right, so that was a short example. I'm going to stop this video here, and we'll take a look at this uh, on pen and paper again in just a second.